evening, everyone. Adam is off tonight. As the new school year draws near, some school districts are considering a plan to give guns to school security guards. In Hilton, the Board of Education delayed a vote to do just that because some parents expressed concern. And tonight, some parents weighed in. Ashley Edlin was there. Inside the Blue Barn Cidery tonight, parents voiced their concerns about the possibility of armed officers being placed at Hilton Schools, which they would call youth assistance, and adding a school resource officer. All this after 17 people were killed during a school shooting in Parkland, Florida. But parents, like an organizer of tonight's group, Sharon Sattler LeBlanc, said they needed a lot more information. I think. There were a number of concerns that were brought up, especially in the meeting that was held at the end of the semester last year. So the board tabled their vote for a later date. And parent Peg Pettis, along with about 18 others, spent tonight preparing questions they'll bring in front of the school board next week, where the issue will be discussed. Is this correct? Who are these employees be? How are they trained? Some parents tonight say they feel like the answer is not to arm youth assistance. Rather, they think parents need to make sure that students don't get a hold of guns in the first place. You know, our children should not have access to those storage safes, um, things like that. Again, what are the things that we can do as adults? to limit access to firearms and making sure that firearms aren't in the hands of people who shouldn't, should, ha should not have them in the first place. What about was Pettis says she'll be at the meeting and has high hopes for the outcome. I hope so. I hope that the, um, the Hilton School Drift is, uh, is open to what uh, the parents and uh, the community has to say about the schools. In Hilton, Ashley Edlin, News 8. And those forums held by the Hilton School District will be August 8th and 13th at the Merton Williams Middle School, both days from 7 to 8.30 p.m.